smile every time I think of the first night that we kissed You waited in the doorway till I finally pulled you in I've never found a wine intoxicating as your lips I knew right then I never want another pair of them I never laughed as freely as I did beneath the trees Hearing you tell stories while I tried to sit and read I've seen my share of storms but in your voice I found my peace So I laugh until my stomach hurts while you lie there next to me But baby, there's no way that I won't cry When I see you walking down that I All eternity wrapped in one space and time It's in your eyes, dressed in white To be my bride <laughs> well, you're not going to cry. <laughs> Where are you no, going? I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> well, I'll be right behind you, so don't worry about it. In fact, I'll probably be in front of you. <laughs> okay, you look beautiful. My God. I'll grow up. <laughs> okay. Here, I gotta hang you something. <laughs> I don't wanna get makeup all over. That's alright. Then I'll make it authentic. Okay. Oh, God. All right. The day is breaking softly and the night is glowing true. I feel a million eyes, but I can just see you. No rain, no thunder. I grant. Take you, Caitlin. Take you, Caitlin. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. 
I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. Caitlin, repeat after me. I, Caitlin. I, Caitlin. Take you, Grant. Take you, Grant. To be my husband. To be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and honor you. To love you and honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. This is real. My rain will wash your hands. Your fire came to you. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Caitlin received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Grant received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And I think that about does it, except now to introduce to all of you the new uh, doctor, and this is Grant Heidinger. Grant, you may kiss the bride. <laughs>
touch the same floor our world has been shaking on oh what's your soul saying oh is your world changing oh what's your soul saying primary role model throughout my whole life. I've always respected you and aspired to emulate your top-notch sense of humor, great intelligence, and your relentlessly hard work ethic. Okay, the first time we met was in the Science and Engineering Library at Ohio State. <laughs> None of us know what year it was, um, but I didn't talk to you for long because you were busy studying for er, social work, grant med school, I was probably studying OCHEM or thermodynamics or something. <laughs> or, so even though we didn't talk long, uh, I could tell you were warm and friendly, and I could tell Grant was happy with his study buddy. Um, and never would I have imagined that in the next couple years we'd be making memories together, whether it be the Kentucky Bourbon Trail with our family, or celebrating St. Patrick's Day in Chicago, or going on your going away bar crawl, which was by far the most epic bar crawl I've ever been a part of. On February 16th, 1988, I was in first grade at Stadium Drive Elementary School and the secretary called me to the office because I had a phone call from my dad and I knew my mom was having a baby that day but I didn't know whether it was a boy or a girl. I made my way to the office and found out from my dad that I had a sister and um, I walked into my classroom and announced to all of my class that I had a baby sister and everyone cheered, everyone cheered, really loud. And I now believe that the room full of cheers was foreshadowing all of the light and all the positive energy she was going to bring into the world. So there's an old saying that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And when people are with Kate, they always remember that they had a good time. Yes. Just like Grant, you truly are the funniest woman I know. And that's not the only reason they're perfect together. You're loving, patient, and you need to be patient to live with Grant. I can attest to that. So like I said, Kate and I have very different personalities and sometimes it was hard for a 16 year old and a 10 year old to relate. We shared a room, she would drive me crazy, I would drive her crazy, but I look at her now and I am in awe of the woman that she's become. Watching her go to prom, graduate high school, graduate college and graduate school, watching her fall in love with Grant and land her big, 
her big girl job for the first time. I'm so proud of her, so I want her to know that. I'm dynamite and I don't know why. You shall take me strongly in your arms again. If I'd ever known. I would up and go, I would up and go, I'd walk out of sight. But I'm glad I rearranged it, rearranged from falling apart. Because you built me a mosaic, a perfect puzzle to capture my heart. So I promise I'll be there for you I'll pick you up when you fall You know I'll be here when you need me to You need me to So you won't have to stand alone she doesn't know that I've never said to her is that I am constantly learning from her. She has always been comfortable with herself. She's not easily embarrassed. She doesn't really care who is watching or who is judging. She has always been proud to be herself. In kindergarten, for instance, she insisted on wearing on the first day of school white tall leather boots with a dress on the first day of school. And she kind of looked like a cross between a cowgirl and a go-go dancer. <laughs> And I was in fifth grade, very conscious of how I looked, and I was horrified by the thought of my sister walking into school this way. So I flipped out, yelled at my mom, and said, how could you do this? How could you let her go to school looking like this? What are you doing? And she didn't listen to me. She sent her to school looking the way she wanted to look. And looking back, I realized that I could have learned this lesson for myself. Be yourself, be less concerned about others, be your own person. These are all the traits that make me proud to have her as a sister. They are a constant and they make her Kate. You know I'll be here when you need me to, you need me to, so you won't have to stand alone. So you won't have to stand alone. So you won't have to stand alone. So you Once again, uh, thank all of you to thank you to all of you for being here some of you came a great distance at time and expense uh, to share this celebration um, and on behalf of my wife Mary Eileen and certainly Gary and Renee uh, we are deeply grateful for your presence tonight so thank you very much lost track of the forest through the trees forgot what I was chasing been so many nights living out at sea that my heart has gone vacant. And everybody who was close to me all stayed on dry land. So now I'm driving back on in the state west. I just gotta feel something. Oh, I wanna stay right here, right here. Chilling with my friends for another year. Bye. 
best friend and apologetic text he says to come over. Well, the whole damn town has been waiting for the day when you would come back here. There was dancing and talking and steaks on the grill and I think that I will be all right. And my ex from high school still looks just the same as she did back in 2009. I couldn't wait till the morning. Let's never put the night on ice. Never put the night on ice.